Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of A Link to the Past. This episode, we are going to go to Ganon's Tower, which is the last dungeon in the game. But before we do that, I am going to get another piece of heart, because if you've been following along with me, then you'll need only one more piece of heart to get a new heart container. And I know I missed four of them, I think. Yeah, I missed four pieces of heart, but that's okay because I, I don't want to have to make a extra video to get those. I just want to hurry up and fin finish the game. And I apologize for not being uploading for a long time. I know it's been almost a week since I've uploaded. I've been so, so busy though. I've had a lot of homework to do this week. And I haven't got... I haven't got very much done. I've tried getting as much as I could. I still have a lot to do. But, and I should be doing that instead of playing this, but I really wanted to finish my, you know, I really wanted to finish my videos for this um, Let's Play because I like to start a new Let's Play and you know, especially for this month since it's almost Halloween. But it looks like I'll be finishing this today. I'll probably be making two videos though. But anyway, you want to go in here and use your hookshot to get over here. You'll need your magic cape to get this piece of heart because if you... Like, if you walk through this with your magic cape, you can walk straight through that bouncy thing. And this is how you end up over here. So, yay, we got the piece of heart. Now we're going to have to go back because I don't know what the easiest way to do this is. I think I better just go back to the light world and then warp over to Death Mountain because that's where Ganon's Tower is. It's a Death Mountain but it's in the dark world. But yeah, I'd really like to finish this in t the next two videos because I know I can't finish the game in just one video because Ganon's... shoot, get out of the freaking way. I hate these guys so much. But yeah, Ganon's Tower, it's a very, very long dungeon. It's like extremely long and then after that you have to do the fight and then after that is the credits. So there's a lot going on here. And I actually tried to do a practice run of this dungeon but then... Um, I didn't, I ended up not finishing it because I had other stuff to do. So, what's going to happen is I'm going to do part of it probably not knowing what I'm doing very well. I have watched videos of other people playing this though, so it's not completely blind. I want to kill you. Okay, now let's go ahead and go over to the dark world, and we're gonna have to use the warp, uh, the warp portal that's on Turtle Rock. I'm trying to get as many hearts as I can because I know I'll need them. And I, what I did was I got three fairies, and I also got a um. Yeah, cure-all potion. So just in case I need those things, I'll have them. 
And I'm going to... Let's see... I have to go over here, don't I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only- Crap! Uh, there we go, I'm taking my compensation. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only way to get to the Dark World is by going over here. I mean, you know, to get to the area we want to go to, and yay, I want that fairy, come on. Give me that fairy, awesome. And... Ugh! No! Okay. Let's go ahead and go on to the Dark World! And yeah, this place has so many memories over here. Turtle Rock. I don't know why, I just thought Turtle Rock was a really, really hard dungeon, but... I'm going to be in for a rude awakening when I go to Dan <laughs> Danon's. Ganon's, not Danon's. Ganon's Tower. Oh gosh, line dudes. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what they are. Are they griffins? No, I think griffins are like part bird and part line. I don't even know. Okay, now here's what's going to happen. The maidens are going to all band together and they're going to let us in. And surprisingly, I've never even seen this tower before. I think it just appeared out of thin air. That's what my guess is. I don't know. But here we are, and immediately we can see that Ganon is completely obsessed with the Triforce. I mean, look at this. He's, like, he made statues of himself holding the Triforce. Like, ha ha, this is going to be mine, and I'm going to, I'm going to have complete control over the world. Yes, yeah, so I'm not using that small key yet because you're supposed to shoot. You're supposed to go this way and I'm going to have to go this way because I don't want that thing to booby trap me. And yeah, just move the switch and go over here. And um, we're going to need our hook shot for this. Um. I think I'm gonna have to go over here, maybe? I don't know if this is the right door I'm going in. I'm gonna check and see if there's anything over here. Um, well, it looks like there's some handy dandy items. Probably not anything that we strictly need right now, but... Oh well. I'm trying to kill these skeleton dudes. Maybe they'll give me a key or something. Because I know a lot of these rooms are going to be given small keys. Now, I have to kill the skeleton dudes anyway since I'm trapped in here. I have a feeling that I went over here. Shoot! Get over here. I have a feeling I... Yeah, it looks like I went in that room for nothing. So... Yeah, you're not supposed to go in that room, I guess. There's really nothing in there. It gives you extra goodies and come on. What the heck? I had a straight shot there. Okay, so instead of going in that room, what you should be doing is going down here. And um, we're going to have to go over to this area to the right. And then we're going to have to go over here and then make a quick hook shot over here okay now I think what we need to do is put a bomb wait a minute um let's see yeah I think we need to put a bomb here um okay I totally almost made a mistake. See, we like once we get to the other side, we need the blue up. 
so that the red is down and then over here we need to put another bomb down um, and then run over here real quick and we'll get a small key and it looks like it activated that other switch too so let's try putting it a little further over awesome so now we are over here and let's do the same thing in this room because I don't want to run into those spikes of course you're going to need like try to conserve your hearts as much as you can I know I say that and then I run straight into those fire beams but oh well because there are so many different floors on there's so many different floors and so many different rooms to go in but anyway step on the right pad here and then go over to the one to the left and then after you do that you want to go all the way down here and then yeah and then we made it all the way to the other side so like as long as you do it that way you won't have to run into well that wasn't so smart but anyway as I was saying that way you don't have to like run around to all these different rooms you can just go straight over here which is where you need to go and there now we're over here and this room it's a very very large room what I recommend is killing these enemies first and when I say kill him, I mean kill him. Smack. And awesome, he gave me a heart. Ha ha. And you're gonna have to use magic for this. I mean, you should ha have a bunch of magic because you probably don't really need to use any yet. But what we're going to do, we need to light up that torch over there with our fire rod. And let's see, I'm trying to think of a good way to do this. Um, because see, I'd like to hook shot back to that um, area where the skull is. I wonder if I can. Yeah, I can reach. Okay, awesome. Yeah, because I want to use that as a shortcut. And crap! Does it not reach over there? I don't see any other way to do it because you can't really aim it like at an angle and yeah. Because basically there's an invisible floor here. You might have noticed it when those bouncy dudes. Like they, it looked like they were standing on something. Now what you want to do, you want to run over here really quickly. Grab your hook shot. And I don't even think it grabbed onto the skull. I don't even know what happened. But, oh gosh, that was a really close one. And I'm in the dark again. I kind of don't. I'm afraid I'm going to fall. So I'm just going to stand in front of it since I'm pretty close to it anyway. And there we go. We totally made it past that. And we want to go in this hole in the floor over here. So we're going to have to go ahead and bomb it. And... This is complete deja vu because these guys, the Armo Knights, these are the ones that we fought in our very first battle. But don't worry, it's actually a lot easier to kill them because you can use your silver arrows instead of just your regular ones. 
And yeah, <laughs> I say that it's easier and then I end up completely getting stomped on by that guy. I'm trying to shoot. Come on, I'm shooting your... I'm shooting my arrow at you. Run away, run away. No, no, no. I mean, it is a little harder because of the ice, but... See, you can kill them all in one shot with your silver arrows. And yes, you do need your silver arrows because... Um, okay, and yeah, you d you want to go in this room because the big key's over here. And you'll need that. But anyway, yeah, you need the silver arrows most definitely for the fight with Ganon. So if you haven't gotten them yet, go ahead and get them. And you know, they're just right down in the pyramid. And I showed you where to get them. Let's see what's in here. It's fairies. I'm going to grab some. I think... Wow. Yeah, see, like, they don't fill up very many hearts, but... It's still something, and yeah, I'll, I already have fairies, so I don't need to put any in my bottles. So, let's go ahead and go back up here, where you will find the item of the dungeon. I bet you're so curious as to what the item is. It's the red mail! It is even better protection than the blue mail. So yay, now we have the red mail. And I just think it's weird. I have no idea what color the cap is. It looks like a baby blue. But let's see. I hope I'm going in the right direction here. Um, I don't know if I am or not. So now that we're back out here, we can finally go in this door that's marked by the Triforce. Again, marking Ganon's obsession. And I might have to... I might have to grab that fairy because... It's just going to suck away my power if I don't get rid of it. I really didn't... Shoot. I didn't really want to do that. Because I already had enough life to begin with. And now I'm going to go over here. Um, okay. Can I move? Okay, oh, this is not good. This is not good. I'm going to try to escape from this. Yeah, it didn't really turn out too well. I don't know why. I guess I got stuck on the top of the block, maybe? Because it wouldn't let me walk. So I must have gotten stuck. And we have these guys. I need to... I should probably get rid of them, but... I need to hit the switch, and I can't hit that switch because that stupid skull was in the way. Okay, here we go. Um. Okay. Yeah, this is a very hard room to deal with. And luckily, that guy's flames didn't hit us. I guess the shield protected us. But move that block and then the door will open. I don't know if killing these guys gives you anything. It doesn't really give you anything, but it's best to get them out of the way. And let's go ahead. Uh, I need, I hope I'm not going to get stuck. Okay, there we go. I guess I somehow got out of it. Here's a pretty simple puzzle. All you got to do is, first of all, get the statue over here. That way you can block that. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. 
Let's see, we want to get this blade trapped between... Okay, right there, that's what we wanted to do. Let me get out my bow and arrows. And you also... Yeah, I think I already told you you'll need the silver arrows when you fight Ganon. So just make sure you have them. Oh gosh, I hate these rooms. I know there's going to be more rooms like this where those Beemos are going to get us. Um, let's see, is there anything... Okay, I guess not. There wasn't really anything helpful. We got more arrows. And look, some more statues. He is reminding us that... I don't know. He's reminding us that he's going to get the Triforce, I guess. And it's just really weird because, I mean, we're moving on through the dungeon. So, we've made it this far. But, I don't know. I guess he's just taunting us like, ha oh, ha, oh, look what I'm going to get. But it's best not to brag about something. You know, because you don't know if you're going to get it or not. Maybe we will. Oh crap, these guys. <sighs> I don't know if I'm s if I need to kill them or not. Why? Why is that guy still following me? I shot an arrow at him. It makes no sense. I keep missing. Oh, there is a switch here. Okay, awesome. We don't need to kill these guys, I don't think. Because, I mean, we still have a small key. I think we might even end up with an extra key. I don't know. Okay, and I'm going to use my magic cape and run across here. Because I don't think I'll make it otherwise. And I really don't want to use up... Um... The... My, the rest of my hearts here. I'm trying to save these fairies as much as I can. I'm using the Bombos medallion. I know this is kind of stupid because I'm using up all my magic and everything, but I gotta get rid of them somehow. Um, I really don't want to use up all my hearts, too. That would be really bad, and of course there's another... Like, these guys would be easy to defeat if they would quit m moving around and if Beemos here wasn't shooting at me. Come on! I am not going to die by your hand, skeleton dude. I am going to kill you. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to... Oh crap. Yeah, I totally just died. I really don't know quite what's going on in this room yet. Um. Well, obviously, like, I don't want to use Balmos again because I'm afraid that I'll use up all my magic and then I'll have to use that potion that I have. So, I'm trying not to, to use that as much as I can. And... Gosh, that... That was really difficult, because it's so slick. The ice is. I guess they had to add some ice palace elements to this, um, tower. Yeah, the the fairies really don't do much at all. They just totally <sighs> um they just fill up like five or six hearts and that's it. And yay, more of the statues. It's so funny. Okay, this is gonna be simple. Because you don't have to hit these guys as many times as you did the first time that you fought them. I mean, as long as you... Crap.
And yeah, that totally happened. But anyway, as long as you have all of the items that help you, you know, because you pick up a lot of items throughout the game, such as the tempered sword, the golden sword, and all the different tunics. I don't even know if it's required to pick up all the tunics. I don't think it is. It's just an optional item, but... But, I mean, it would be stupid not to pick them up. And you would probably not survive e either, unless you're like the skilled... The most skilled player in the entire world, of course. Okay, why is this not working? I shot an arrow at you. Okay, I'm... Um, that's... Let's try... Vamos. I hope these guys... Well, crap, they didn't die. I do know, like, one of these medallions... Is it the Ether Medallion or... Quake? Maybe I should try Quake. So wait until they appear. And okay, one of them... Or, I mean, two of them died. Why can't I grab that heart? I want that heart. Crap. <sighs> yeah, this, this totally sucks. Really, I should probably use my ether medallion because, duh, like it lets you see where you're going for a brief time. Well, I guess it doesn't. I think it was the ether medallion that helps. I don't know. But that doesn't matter. I, I really want to get rid of these guys. Um, let's try the ether medallion, because I know that helps. Yeah, it makes them disappear. I know I, I didn't want to waste all my magic, but... Oh, crap. Okay, yeah, the floor's totally breaking away. I want to kill these guys, though, because I know that they'll give me something. And I was right, they gave me some hearts and stuff. There we go. Oh gosh. Now this room looks like it can be very difficult. Um, I think, oh, I better totally end the video here, guys, because it's almost 28 minutes. I don't want to go over 30 minutes, so I'm going to see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody.